Hey chums and welcome to another Let's Play with me RC here on Video Chums. Guys, today we're going to be playing a bit of The Suicide of Rachel Foster. Sounds very serious because I guess it's handling very serious topics in regards to existing in life and such a thing. Uh, when I started this game and actually had a, a quick little blurb, a quick little sentence in there that said, you know, uh, this game does handle uh, some really heavy things, okay? So it basically says, like, if you need help in any kind of way, mentally, you know, uh, just need some advice, definitely seek help because you don't need to go through this alone. And I'm paraphrasing, that's basically what it said. So uh, I, I would also bear that out to you guys, extend that offer to, if you guys aren't good at handling, you know, things like this, uh, whatever it, it plans to touch on here, uh, you know, Take, take it with a grain of salt. Maybe uh, shy away from this one for right now. Come back when you feel better, you know? I don't know. Um, but regardless, this game is going to handle some stuff, so keep that in mind. But I'm looking forward to checking this out. It looks interesting. Um, you can kind of see it, but in the bottom center of the screen, there is a... Uh, it looks to be like a little butterfly, right? But it's actually a retainer. It's a retainer that you put in your mouth to straighten your teeth. Uh, they, they made it look like a butterfly, which I thought was actually... Uh, pretty interesting, you know, the, it's a very cool idea, really. Uh, so the whole idea behind this game, I guess, is that you are playing as someone who is coming back to uh, a hotel, I guess, that the family owned or has something to do with, and it's you sort of, like, uh, experiencing your old family memories and stuff like that. The, the person you play as is sort of haunted by it. Uh, so what I can tell, this is supposed to be uh, kind of creepy, too. So... Here, what do you say uh, we, we jump in and check it out? Let's check out a... Or uh, start a new game here. The story you're about to live is shaped by its details, observing everything. Okay, so it sounds like no matter what you do, it's going to shape the story and ending, possibly. My dear Nicole. You're the daughter every mother dreams of. Beautiful, beautiful smart, and fair. We've been through a lot, and I know things haven't always been easy. But remember what Dr. Franklin said after your speech at high school graduation. Hmm. This could be uh, deeper than they let on. Um, though I noticed the text on the bottom was different from what was up top. I've always thought of you as a fighter for who faced uh, with the toughest challenges and capable or is capable of brandishing all the weapons necessary to fight courageously and heroically. We never talked about what happened with your father. But now, I need to tell you a few things uh, before this illness separates us. Very dark. See, okay, so we can control the umbrella. We can't move back or to the side or anything. We can only move forward. That looks like we were at a funeral of some kind. It looks like we're just kind of forcing our way through here. Lightning effects have a really cool look. The affair your father had with that young woman uh, nine years ago and her ensuing suicide broke our family apart forever. I imagine exactly what, what was going through your head in that moment. Oh, I see. So the quotes on the bottom are what she's thinking and then the note is different. Okay. My father no longer exists for me. I can only trust my mother. That your father had irreparably betrayed our trust and that she had done the right thing by throwing herself off that cliff. Yikes. I was there. I've always been there. We dislocated your shoulder at the first game when you sobbed at night in a room you didn't recognize and when. No. Because Duncan forms under the Christmas mistletoe in 1985, you marched against abortion your first year of college. It's interesting how they're doing this like double, double take here. Duncan was a good kid, but even if I've never said so before, I immediately thought you uh, wouldn't have a lot to talk about. Talking is the foundation for every relationship. If you don't talk, you drift apart. There's so much to say when you don't have a lot of time to say it. First of all, I'm sorry. We're going to force our way through this crowd of people here at the funeral still. I never 
never thought rage was an emotion worthy of a good Christian, but I used it. I used it to endure pain. I don't want you to live your life like I have, my love. I want you to be free from the past, once and for all. That is why I want you to do exactly as I say. Sell our hotel, okay? The hotel is my family's, and you're entitled to it. Go back there, Nicole. I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins. Uh, I've hired a lawyer in Helena, Mr. Jenkins, to give you this letter once your father has passed away. I don't know. Why does that read weird to me? I don't know. I, I will already be gone. Uh, I will already be gone long. I'm assuming it's supposed to be long gone. Take a quick inspection, sign the papers, and sell those walls that hold nothing but rage. Keep what you need to pay off your university loans and get the rest of the girl's family. Let's end this story once and for all. We've always been there for each other. I wish I could still be there at your graduation, your wedding, my grandchildren's birth, but that's it. We don't know how much time we have. Use yours to love. There's nothing else worth living for, fighting or dying for. Believe me. I love you above all else, your mother. June 24th, 1991. So that's already starting off super heavy. I was not expecting it to start off that way. I thought we'd at least like get to the hotel first before things get that that dark and that, that deep. See, there's the emblem I was talking about. So here we go, heading to the Outlook Motel. Oh no, I'm just kidding. It's in Montana, December 93. The oh, I see Helena is where it's located. Montana okay. is amassing all the characteristics of an atypical storm. The bad turn is proving worse than expected, with above average winds and snowfall especially forecast for Helena National Forest Natural Reserve. The National Weather Service warns residents to follow all instructions given by local authorities and to avoid all unnecessary travel. Some concerned meteorologists are comparing it to the storm that hit Billings in 1955, with 42 inches of snow falling over a single night. Are we heading into the mother of all winners in Lewis and Clout County? I guess we'll find out. That was a hell of a lot of snow. Up in Montana, though, that's what they get. Here in Michigan, we get a decent amount, but not 42 inches in the night, that's for sure. Hello from Montana. So that's cool. There's a little bit of voiceover work. I was going to be like, man, if we have to read everything, <laughs> my voice is going to be hoarse by the end of this. Here we are. The smell. That's all I remember from the night we departed ten years ago. There's our car. Bike. Definitely creepy. Definitely got a creepy vibe. The attorney said to check the office first. It should be just beyond the mountain museum at the end of the stairs to the main floor. Remember right. Bonus ringing. Seeing the phone. <laughs> Thank you for calling. Please leave a message. Ah, here it is. Didn't get to it in time. Nine one one emergency. How can I help you? What's your emergency? Hello? Can you hear me? 
What's your emergency? It's Mr. interesting. McGrath. Hi, it's Paulie from Century Telephone Company. I'm sorry to bother you, but as I told you last time, the company requires cutting off the telephone service to delinquent customers. I... I'm going to turn the volume up just a tad here. I'm really sorry, Leonard, but my hands are tied. We have to go ahead. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Uh, yeah, Nicole, it's Jenkins, the attorney. The hotel chain that wants to take over your hotel has just dumped a mammoth holy Bible of documents on my desk that I need to check through. I have to personally go to the county land registry office before we meet. Listen, I know you didn't want to go to your father's funeral, but now the hotel is entirely your property. The law requires you to assess its condition before putting it on the market. Uh, it's, uh, very noble of your mother to want to repay that poor girl's family, Rachel. Not everyone would deprive themselves of such a sum. Anyway, it's up to you now. Get to it. I'll bring you a burger you Portland folks can only dream of. <laughs> oh, I, I left you some notes and a master key on the dining room table of your family's old apartment. Start your rounds from there. Give me a couple of hours. Don't run off, all right? It's nice of him to bring a, a burger. Can't say no to that, right? We should All have right. hired a decent attorney from Portland, Mom, not this potato head. Come on, let's do this. Say, so left the management key in the master suite. I like the map. I love that it's like actually in her hands. I love that there's a to-do list that she wrote down. Very, very cool. Keeps you uh, invested in the game. Keeps you a part of it. Um. Q to show the previous floor. Oh, I see. Okay, so we literally have other maps here. So we are looking for Master Suite. Was it on this? Upstairs, maybe? There it is. Master Suite. First floor. And then the main floor. So I'm assuming we're on the main floor right now. Oh, we can see outside, tree, snow, all that good stuff. So far, I'm digging this. Re definitely reminds me of uh, Gone Home. You guys remember uh, that game there. It's a classic indie game from several years ago. It kind of has the same idea. Going back home. All right, so I'm assuming, yeah, so we got some stairs over here. Look at this place, though. This is cool. This does look like it really old crazy hotel I love it see the snow come down hardcore drive it up in this man pay phones there's no pay phones anymore it's 93 though the whole other world that long ago God, it's almost 30 years ago now that's crazy there's some paintings missing off the wall over there. Huh. I wonder what that's about. Oh yeah, one missing right there too. Alright. We will go to the first floor. Nice creaky stair sound. I'm anybody actually wants to buy this hotel. It seems like it's just like in the middle of nowhere. And who would want to stay here? It's a big wolf picture over there. I guess that's what you might say about the Overlook Hotel as well, right? It's just not in season. I guess that's the whole thing. All right, so is this the master suite? I saw that there was a You Are Here sticker on the map that was on the wall, but here doesn't seem to be one. Nice bathtub. <laughs> That's funny. Decent rooms. Pictures taken off the wall again. Master Suite. World Music Magazine. 
The future, it's the new color. This looks like an old school magazine too, that's great. This bear, Montana. I want that in my house. Lots of books. Lots of books. Santa. <laughs> That's pretty good. So that is one of the best things about these, you know, walking simulator style, you know, games that have been popular the past eight years or so, ten years. Uh, just like the, the, the funny stuff that you find. Like, I remember gone home, it was the, the Street Fighter codes. You found those in the game room. But this right here. I think that, <laughs> that might be it for that one. Pretty damn funny. All right, uh, let's see. Lots of theory books. Which always point to the fact that someone was doing a lot of heavy reading here. Lots of reading, wow. I don't think I've read that many books in my life. Uh, if you guys want to check out a sponge, that is a thing. Calculations. Someone was doing some heavy math here, too. Exploring in Mathematic. Little pest picks. Leonard's Cup. Your dad. Hockey player. Oh, you can't check out the hockey player guy? A cult, huh? Alright. Polaroid camera. Assuming we should take that and take pictures, right? That's actually a pretty cool room, I gotta say. God, everything's here exactly the same as when me and Mom left ten years ago. It's so... Doesn't matter. Quick tour, nothing more, Nicole. <laughs> the old friend, the joystick, the Atari joystick. Floppy disks. Love it. Are ready, but we are waiting for the intensity of the snowfall to that will be possible blackouts in the more isolated areas. Make sure your generators are in good condition stockpiles of fuel. Instructions to refrain from going outside unless isolated return at home. So she seems like she actually played some hockey. I also liked here mixtape. Remember making mixtapes? I sure do. But I never wrote mixtape on it. <laughs> this should really say something like, you know, Jams 89 or, or, you know, something like that. Like Summer 89. That's what we named them. Management this key, is the got it. This key my mom wouldn't give me when I was little. Huh. I'll need a master key for the guest rooms, though. Okay, got it. Yeah, there's a telephone. I know from the description of the game, it says you'll be using it to this old cell phone. Look at that old cell phone. It's great. But it doesn't seem like I can pick it up right now. Played bass, played hockey. I feel like this is a girl I would have totally had a crush on back then. <laughs> plays hockey. Plays bass. Uh, let's see... Oh, I didn't see this one. We want you. That's pretty cool. She seemed like she was interested in being an astronaut or something at some point. Or somebody in the house was. Alright, so we got the key. So what do we do next? To-do list. Nothing on the to-do list. The telephone is ringing. What is this, a joke? Hello? C can you hear me? Is this Miss McGrath? Wilson. McGrath was my father's. Uh, 
this is um, uh, Helena Federal Emergency Management Agency. Uh, my name is uh, Irving Crawford. Uh, Mr. Jenkins told me you'd be arriving. Uh, Mr. Jenkins is a very enterprising man. Oh, uh, I, I guess so. I, I wouldn't know. I'm kidding. Oh, right. Any reason for your call, Irving, from Federal... Whatchamacallit? Uh, I'm calling to assist you during your stay at the hotel. What? Uh, the Timberline is old but sturdy. You'll enjoy your stay and, and be safe, no problem. Uh, the furnace, wiring, it, it's all under control. Oh, okay, enough. What? I don't know what Jenkins told you, but I have zero intention of staying here longer than, let's say, 20 minutes. Oh. But, but the storm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm leaving straight away. <laughs> Maybe you're not aware. That... Thanks for everything. Irving, right? Irving. Yeah. I. I you. I... Bye. Oh, rude. Absolutely rude. I could imagine, though. The place probably brings back some weird memories. It's too bad she wouldn't want to bring her bass guitar with her, though. Bring your bass home. Bring your Atari home, at least. Or your <laughs> floppy disk. Bring it all. I don't care. Really feel like we should be taking that camera, but whatever. This place is a real mess. Never thought to find anything like that. Oh, and the bathroom. This one does not is not labeled nice tub, that's for sure. Oh, hair comb. We can check that out for those of you interested. Then there's pills. Medicines. And cleanser. And of course, if you want to check out yeah, another sponge, we can do that. This is a pretty wicked storm. Hello? Hey, you still there, Irving? Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'm still here, Miss McGrath. I, I mean, Miss Wilson. When you said this shack was sturdy... Oh, that's what I was trying to tell you before. Uh, around these parts, the weather... How much time do I have to move? Uh, w uh the snow piles up pretty quick, and uh, uh, some parts over 3,000 feet are already icing over. I gotta risk it. Uh, you're not thinking of taking the car. Uh, yeah? Uh, Nicole, uh, uh, listen. If your car uh, breaks down, we can't come get you. Not even with tanks. Whatever happened to Miss Wilson? Uh, oh, uh, sorry about that. I, I just... Uh... Nicole is fine. That said, thanks for everything. Again. Thanks. Seriously, if you ended up out there with your car gone dead, with 12 inches of snow and 20 degrees below zero, your lungs would collapse in a few minutes. I remember how things work in the mountains. Luck doesn't exist. As a, a FEMA agent, I have to insist... You know, you're not the first man... To, to do what? To try and stop me. Hey, uh, wait! Bye! <laughs> what can go wrong? I have a 1986 Dodge. <laughs> what could go wrong indeed we're gonna go exploring a little bit here okay so this just leads back in there I won't stay here a minute more no way the attorney he'll take care of everything fuck all this and that leads back here I want to see what was down the other way over here I do like that you have this whole uh, hotel to explore and walk through, though. This is pretty cool. It's a very good, like, wintry game to play. Very good seasonal game. Up the kitchen. Oh, and that leads right back to the office. So this is all connected. Okay, cool. Is 
the kitchen. Would you like some ice cream, Doc? Where's this go? Laundry room. So we're checking everything out now. Oh, we're in like the boiler room here. Heavy duty radio. Picture I sh I'm sure I'll be able to uh, take a look at later. Some old paint. Yep, something I guarantee we're gonna have to come back and push or something later. Well, everything in this place definitely has like a creepy vibe to it, but I think it's just because we're all alone here. I think that's mainly why it feels that way. Okay, so that's all connected there too. So this is the door we could not go into previously. But all this stuff is now open to us, which is kind of cool. Okay, so this is like some kind of locker room. Oh, I see. It's like the locker room you come into from skiing. So you can go to the ski route, uh, ski route, and uh, check things out. Maybe we'll do some skiing while we're here. What do you guys say? It's all blocked off. Yeah, seems like a cool place. Seems like a cool uh, ski hotel to come to. Assuming, because she mentioned the car, we should really go back to our car here. Tell me you changed your mind. You there? Uh-huh. Uh, oh, yeah, right. Uh, it's a direct line. I can't find my car keys. My fucking car keys. I left them on the seat. Are you sure? Think so. Maybe someone... Uh, no. Listen. This office is about 12 miles from the hotel as the crow flies. It's 40 miles by road. There's nothing or no one in between, and that's not a good thing right now. God damn it. I knew it. Uh, oh, maybe the keys are in your pocket. Wow, that didn't even cross my mind. Only trying to help. Yeah, that was kind of bitchy. No problem. Uh, the keys will turn up. Uh, the good news is that we have these new cell phones. Uh, that's what they call them. Uh, radio doesn't reach out there. I bypass the signal to create a direct line through a shortwave sequencer. It's like a two-way radio station that's always open. Oh, this place. I vowed to never come back. Listen. I might only be a voice, but remember I'm here for you. If you need me, just call. Seriously. Ugh. Fine. Well, they're a match made in heaven. Why? Maybe we can get this dirt bike going. Get the motorbike going, take that down the road. What do you think? Do a few jumps? Uh, so what are we doing now? I have to open the garage door. I hope it's working. That's what I was trying to do on the phone call. I can't open the garage door. It's a conspiracy, damn it. Uh, stuff freezes up with the cold. I have to get out of here. I'm not sure you get it. Look, I left this place ten years ago. I had no idea I would have to come back here, let alone stay a night. Nicole, I know your story. Everyone in the valley knows it. Your father, Rachel. What? L let's just forget it. I didn't want to be out of line. Don't mention the past. Okay. So yeah, this is very much like Gone Home and uh, Firewatch kind of put together here, which is interesting. Both games very good. This one has a uh, much more creepy and dark vibe to it, though, I would say. Hey, uh, found anything useful? No. No keys, no garage door, I can't get out of here without freezing, Christ! It's probably only for a night. Uh, the conditions might get better tomorrow. They might? Uh, look, I'll be on duty all day. 
Call me when you want. Even just to talk. Okay. Oh, thanks, Irving. Just doing my job. Nicole? Yeah. I if I may. What? I'd like to give you some advice. If it comes with the job... You're safe up there. Just relax. It'll be fine. Uh, okay. Uh, later. <laughs> See, the guy seems so nervous. I can't believe it. I'm stuck. Shit. Ah, day one. So I'm assuming this is going to go on for multiple days, since it mentions day one. Hello? You still there? Is that a joke? Yeah. Well, you're improving. What's up? Oh, nothing. I mean, I just wanted to say, you got everything you need to have a smooth night. But you should take a look at the main power system. You know, no one's been up there since... Leonard's death. Uh, five days might not seem like much, but the Timberline has an age. I don't know. When I lived here, I was only a kid. I can barely find the bathroom. Well, that's a good start. <laughs> like, at least I won't wet myself? Um, no. I, I didn't mean... Don't blush, kid. I was just kidding. Oh, <laughs> I just... I'll call if I need you. Okay, so we are going to be heading, I'm assuming, to that turbine room, right? Not really gone to the second floor yet. This place is so squeaky sounding. If I remember right. Irving, it's me again, obviously. I could really use a shower. Sure, you'll just need to turn on the furnace for the hot water. Oh, my mom never wanted me to go down there, but I loved that place. Full of little spiders. A real country bumpkin. <laughs> oh, I was a pest. Now, I think I even forgot how to get there. Oh, no way. I forgot almost everything about this hotel. Funny, right? People forget what hurts, I think. Never enough, Irving. Never enough. Yeah. Well, furnaces are always in the basement. You won't have trouble finding it. Is there something else I should know, like, to survive? Well, don't expect a five-star menu. Oh, really? Uh, you could survive for months with what's in the pantry. Let me guess. Canned beans, right? Bean soup, baked beans, potatoes and beans, <laughs> broth. <laughs> bean, Starving bean, bean. suddenly seems like an acceptable option. Want to come down here? I feel like this is going to be a good place to end this Let's Play for today. But look, found the game room with Street Warrior, Fury Rose Survivor, and Ping Pong. <laughs> Irving. <laughs> Very Are you cool. at the furnace? He's waiting for me. He's down there. What? Uh, who? Old farting ghost. What? Wait, what did you say? Old farting... <laughs> I used to hide down there with hotel guest kids and wait for old farting ghost to come and get us. Farting... the furnace? <laughs> yeah. When Leonard found out, he almost choked laughing. Your father laughed about stuff like that? Yeah. Well, that's long gone. Anyway, click. <laughs> that was a weird abrupt. I was just trying to check out the games, and then we had to hear a thing about old farting ghosts. Uh, but yeah, guys, this game seems really, really cool so far. Um, so far, it hasn't been super scary or anything like that, but I really like the 
atmosphere. I like the, uh, what you know, sort of what they've set up here so far. Like I said, it feels like a Gone Home and Firewatch sort of put together. But so far, I'm enjoying this. Looking forward to playing a bit more of it. Um, guys, don't forget to subscribe to us here at Video Chums on YouTube because we come out with Let's Plays like this and other gameplay videos all the time. And of course, don't forget to uh, check out my other channel, my personal channel, uh, which is GGRC. You can get to it at YouTube.com slash watch GGRC uh, because I come out with all kinds of other types of of videos, um, you know, like vlogs and reviews and that kind of thing. And I think you'll enjoy it. I think you'll enjoy both channels. Honestly, I don't think you'd be sorry subscribing to both. So do so you'll enjoy it. And of course, I'll see you all in the next Let's Play. See you then.